First off, I've been awake for 18 hours, so I'm a little bit delirious, delusional, donkey-faced, I don't... Secondly, usually I don't care about anything to do with YouTube in terms of, like, people who get in trouble or whatever. You know, I'd leave that to the court of public opinion, and sometimes the court. But I thought, you know, because supposedly um, the video in question that I'm about to watch is uh, so insane, I thought, you know, it would be a disservice to myself to not at least, you know, watch watch it, you know. If you don't know what I'm about to watch, it's a, um, does anyone remember Miranda Sings? Does anyone remember who that is? Um, she was big, or is still big, I don't, I'm not sure, I don't keep up, but she was big with the kids, which is how she's in trouble right now. So she's big with the kids, was big with the kids, they are now adults and going, hey, you were gross with me, so you should suffer the consequences of your actions. Uh, she's put out a response. You know, I've, see I've seen the first, like, 10 seconds of this on Twitter somewhere. Um, that's how I saw it in the first place. I, I want to know how it gets, like, where does this where does it start? Like, I've seen the, like, the, um, the, the hook of the song, but how does it start? Like, when does she pull out the ukulele? When does that happen? Does that happen at the start, or is it like she's like going, oh, I, I'm, I didn't do it, and then she then she pulls out the U halfway through. I want to know, you know what? Let, we should just get into it, shouldn't we? Is this going to be like a an OJ book situation where you know the book that OJ put out saying if I did it, like bruh, if you did it, let's be honest, you were lucky to get off. We've got a forlorn start. Straight up! I thought it was going to be like, at least a minute, or like, two minutes, maybe. You know, even the 30 seconds. Alright, let's continue. Hey, it's been a while since I saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true though, just as long as it's entertaining to you. <laughs> So far, I'm, I'm entertained, I'll tell you that much. I'm having a fucking ball of a time. That looks like the face of someone who you're not sure is evil in the movie, but then about three quarters of the way through, their like fucking head turns 180 degrees, and you go, oh, okay, the, they were, yep, they, they were the bad one. They were the bad guy, okay. And now let, let me be clear. Um, I'm not laughing at the situation, I'm just laughing at this. There is nothing... Any, nothing, the best comedy writer in the world, there's nothing someone like Larry David could write that could spawn this. I don't think there is. There's no, no one. No one. This is comedy gold. This is insane. This is better than anything she's ever done before. Honestly, it's amazing. Amazingly demented, but I love it. Let's keep con going. Uh, oh, I'm having a stroke. Continue. All aboard the toxic gossip train. Chugging down the tracks of misinformation The toxic gossip train Tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past Cause rumors look like facts If you don't mind the gaps I won't survive in the crash But hey At least you're having fun I am! I'm having a great time! Thank you, um, Miranda, uh, Sing. Alright. <laughs> okay. No, it would be better if right now, so she went from this single uke, single uke, <laughs> just thinking about it, okay, she, you know, toxic gossip, try, whatever she's fucking, so I haven't really been listening, couple bars of that, and then in a way, if you've ever seen the end of Rocket Man, the Elton John uh, biopic, and he's starting to, you know, do the instrumental for I'm Still Standing, and he's doing it. Like in a, you know, one quarter at a time. After that, after the first verse, or just after the first, not, maybe not in the first verse, halfway through the first verse, it goes into the song straight away. And like all the instrumentals come in, you know, you got the drums, the bass, whatever. It would be great if she just started off with that. And then it turns out the back is the green screen. And she pulls it down, she's got a band behind her. She goes, hit it, and then the band starts playing like a hard instrumental, you know, like a, like a, like a pop rock, no, not a pop rock. Like a, like a, like a 70s kind of progressive rock kind of, you know, vibe, you know, something a bit, bit boppy, a bit, a couple of hard, hardish guitars, not too hard. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to scare, scare the people away from your whatever this is. 
Apo apology, excuse, I don't know what it, what's happening. I think if she did that, everyone would go, you know what? So what, you groomed a couple kids? Maybe, maybe not, but you know, I think that would be the best way to do it. That's the only way I would improve this so far. <laughs> it's, I'm way too much fun with it. Let's continue. Uh, hi everyone. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing. Yes, that is, wow, that, what a loophole, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I can't say what I want to say. I don't want to say fuck you, but I'm going to sing it instead. So far, I don't know why people are saying this is the worst apology ever, because it's, it's not. Is it, what, do you think this is an apology? Have you ever, what kind of abusive household did you come from? This isn't a fucking apology. <laughs> this is a doubling down. I'm only a minute and a half in. I don't, I don't know if I can go the full ten minutes. What else? Do, how is this a ten-minute song? Is this like a fucking meatloaf ballad? What's get, what's happening? I am, and um, today I only want to talk about the facts. The so, f the who? You want to talk about the who? The f I don't think you can say that anymore, can you? Today I only want to talk about the facts. Oh, the facts. So, oh, okay. Many years ago, I used to message my fans. Uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way. Fucking loser. <laughs> it's kind of like uh, when you go to like a family gathering, you know, and there's a weird aunt there who keeps coming up to you and going like, Hey girl, what's the tea? Just never, that's a never hat. What kind of, what generation do you think I'm from? I mean, I know she's not talking directly to me. She's probably talking to people who are younger, but... What kind of, like, even people who are younger, how young are these aunt, these aunts? Aunts. Ants. How long are these? How, how old are these people? Are they like 25? 25 year old aunties? If if my 50 plus year old auntie came up to me and said, "Hey girl, what's the tea?" I would leave. I I would I would go be out the door. I've been sharing my life online for over 15 years. I've poured my heart out to you, and because of that, I feel like I'm talking to my friends. But in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. There were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. I'm gonna change your behavior. I don't know about the accountability bit. You haven't really. Did you. What did you do? Did you like go, hey, sorry about that weird shit? Sorry about that weird shit I said. I, it was fucked up with me. I mean, I, I shouldn't have done it. Have you said that yet? I don't. We're two thirty in. You haven't said nothing. So let's go on the toxic gossip train. We're back. The locomotive's fuel the train is made of lies, and that person you despise maybe didn't deserve to die. But hey, at least you're having fun. I don't think anyone should wish death on someone. But I am having fun watching this little ditty, so I'm I'm conflicted. When's can we skip? Is there a good bit in here somewhere? When's the good bit? This is so painfully. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck millennials, Gen Z for life. What I wouldn't give to see the dislikes on this. Uh, Newt Stew six eight oh six. It's five hundred and fifty thousand. So no worry, he, he's not going to see this. I mean. I'm gonna, hang on, let's see, if, what happens at the end? Let's have a look in the last two minutes. Is there some gems there? I might miss something, but I don't, I'm already, 18 minutes I've been recording. I don't want to record for too much longer. I'm painfully, uh, almost bored at this point. I just had a thought. Imagine instead of the ukulele, she did the fucking Go Patrick, you know? Yeah, go Pat. And doing the fucking, and doing the, the toxic mask, I got, uh, what was it again? What was the hook? Tox, toxic, toxic shop, let's brand, saying, toxic fallen, brand, toxic crocking frame, Rocky's horror show. No, I'm not. The toxic gossip train. There we go. Let's look at the last two minutes and then end this fucking, end this shit, huh? I just had another thought, sorry. <laughs> You know the vocal coaches you can you see on YouTube where they're like they analyze a, someone's performance like a live performance or like a you know studio whatever. I want a vocal coach to go through this whole ten minutes and really critique it with that, with no just on equal ground, not worrying about any any criminal matters that may henceforth come forward. I want them to 
you know, really critically analyze the the vocals in this in this video. I think that would be entertaining. I'd watch it. Is she trying to cry? I don't. Is she going to cry? Is she trying to cry? Is this her trying to cry? Actually, no. no. Oh, she's fucking encore, encore. Yes, she was about to turn off the camera and then she's like, no, nah, I've got a fucking another verse of me, son. Let's go! Sometimes people make a mistake and it doesn't make them a horrible person. Whoa. Oh, it's a fucking switch up. I just realized it's a fucking switch up. Holy shit. Ruin a life and... Oh, no. Holy fuck. That gives me the fucking shivers. Did I just say shivers? What am I fucking... 12, 10, 3? I mean, to be fair, if I do that, <laughs> I just, I just actually look, I don't look scared, I just look fucking brain dead, I look like someone's fucking lobotomized me. If you saw this on the street, you'd go, hey mate, how are ya? Having a good day? You get what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Sometimes people make mistakes simply because they made a mistake. That's why they call it the blues. That's where I thought it was going, but um, okay. Don't stop smiling, because otherwise I'm gonna. Yeah, what? Fuck me, right? Well, uh, that was, if I may say so, fucking awesome. A little bit lengthy. I mean, not many people can do a ten-minute song. There's only a few that I can think of. One off the top of my head is Meatloaf. Secondly, I don't know what the fuck this was. <laughs> I can see how, I don't know who this is, but I can see how this bloke's got a th nearly 40 minute video out of this. I could watch this forever. I could just, I could just watch this forever. I could riff on this forever. This is the happiest I've been all week. I'm going to be honest with you. And is that sad? Probably, but it's the truth. You know, it's only Friday. I've still got two days, but so far it's the happiest I've been this week. So, um, thanks for watching. Uh, look out for my apology coming soon. Uh, it'll be a... Let's go with a quartet. I'm going to come with a four-piece. Um, I haven't picked the instruments yet. I think probably a piano, violin, cello. I'm not sure about the fourth one yet. That's that's something I've got to... You know, just to tie it all together. I've got to think about that. Um, but, yeah, look out for that soon. This was fun for you. I don't know. It's pretty fun for me. I think I'm fucking demented. I think I'm some type of fucking sick person. But all right. Um, cheerio. Well, my fucking British. All right. So yeah. I love Shifty Drongo. Shifty Drongo.